Praxum Skull, Florida, where the arena is filled with Jewish retirees, partiers who think it's spring break, and face-eating zombies. It's the perfect crowd for the perfect game. Mazel tov. Get ready for some football. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The New Gorland Zombies battle. The Crux and Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, no, nope, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. I saw their kicker warming up his leg before the game, and uh, it smelled delicious, Bricks. Yeah, those kicker legs are meaty. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything. Oh! <laughs> he did not see that coming, partner. He's on the ground, so he's gonna come out and pick him up. Him dying really kills the momentum. He's at the twenty. He's at the ten. And he scores. Why is it that no one can score in this league without showboating? point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that's a nice run for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Pounds 
the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Third down and nine. Jimmy calls an audible. Is it a dirty trick? We'll find out in a second. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. You never know if it's a regular audible or if they're going to call a dirty trick. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Well, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. And this game is up for grabs. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. six yards and that's a hell of a cheap shot <laughs> gotta love it and that'll be second down and four and that's a pick and now the quarterback is cursing the defense, his receiver, the coach, Hell, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the quarterback. I can't look. You know, they should call this play snap, crackle, and pop his head. Well, they're trying to catch him, but he got away. That's a wasted, dirty trick and one fast son of a QB. <laughs> First down in inches. Bring up second and one. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait, I gotta take a dump. Third and two. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo yo of doom? No, my friend. I did. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. This is going to be one hell of a kick if he can make it. What a shame. It's still just a field goal. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. Oh, and they fake it. Didn't see that coming, did you, Bricks? Uh, I'm not even watching. 
And I don't want to see the comment section on that replay of the kick. Yeesh. That was terrible. Yeah, he's going to get the right Funko treatment after that miss. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he went off to the races. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. <laughs> No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Uh, now the ball's feelings are high. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. The defense calls an audible. Uh, maybe they're rehearsing for a musical. You never know, Ben. You never know. Third day, and that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock. You know, Grim? Poor words never spoke. Potato, three potato, four. The defense just, the offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. I don't understand why they go in front, Grim. This seems like the situation where they should always, always, always. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And it's first and ten. What a throw! That sonic blast just cleared the field for the receiver. Oh. And he held on to that one for a first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. It's the time you've all been waiting for. The MFL Halftime Show. Survive chaos in the cage of death. Okay, here we go. Just in time. That's a clean pickup. Seconds remaining. Come on, buddy, hang in there. Win and earn a record.
resurrection dirty trick. They can use that on an all-star. Or a punter. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Let's see if they can... Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see if he beats the odds. Oh, and he breaks free, and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 10. And he scores! That's six points for a special teams unit on a fantastic punt return. And for those of you that had him on your fantasy team, congratulations. I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pepper. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talk to you. Second down and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? He's off to the races. These aren't just regular aliens. They are criminal aliens. They have a lot of moves besides dancing. And yeah, the refs better check the wallets. You never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck!
first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Red, can I kill him? And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skin marks. Second down and four. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means, right, Bricks? Yeah, take a giant whiz and get in a fight in the men's room. And that'll be second down and four. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Brent. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I'm going to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Now, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on He broke free and has open field in front of him. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. So one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. They just called an audible on defense. Offense hopes it's not a dirty trick. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. He is fighting for every yard. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course he... Oh, my God! It's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> 
When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. It helps. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality, the defense jumps off sides to kill him. And look at the QB run for his life. He's so fast. Nah, he just found out about that cheerleader's pregnancy test. I'd run too. She's huge. First and goal. Freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Straight through the uprights. And the jugulars just got their butts handed to them and lose the game in front of their home team fans. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Okay, I can't. can't hold on. I'm out here. I'm Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you can fill it.